Hello, Martin Strell. It's an honor to have you in the Rotary in Action podcast. We are here at Expo 2020 and we have a very special guest here with us. Let me tell you a little bit of information about who Martin Strell is, and I'm sure this is going to blow your mind away. The earth is calling. You have no more time. We are connected by water. Water is our life. The greatest marathon swimmer in the world, Guinness record breaker and promoter of peace, friendship, and clean waters. Who is this guy? His name is Martin Strel. In my life, I swam all over the planet in more than 100 different countries. I made five Guinness World Records in the rivers, like the Amazon, Mississippi, the Danube, the Yangtze. Now I know what my true purpose is. It's not about the record, it's about the environment. Water is our life. But the clean water must be our future. Martin Strel is a Slovenian long distance swimmer, one of the most elite endurance athletes, best known for swimming the entire length of various rivers. Strel holds five Guinness World Records for swimming in the Danube River, the Mississippi River, the Yangtze River and the Amazon River. Martin has been swimming ultra marathons and raising an important awareness of clean waters for many years. He has dedicated several swims to the protection of environmental resources. Many people still cannot believe what he has done so far. That's why they call him the daredevil, fish man, human fish, or even the craziest man in the world. Strel's next pursuit is to swim Dubai's water canal. He will cover 50 kilometers, that's 31 miles, to mark the 50th anniversary of the founding of United Arab Emirates. The 24-hour event will begin at Burj Al Arab and finish at the Etihad Museum, taking him through the heart of Dubai. The purpose of this swim is to alert people of the importance of sustainable relationship towards clean waters, honor the anniversary of the UAE, bonding the Slovenian and U UAE relationship and presenting the World Swim Project, which we will get into very soon. And here's something that's unique to Martin as well. He is a proud member of the Ljubljana Unity Rotary Club. Thank you so much for joining the Rotary in Action podcast. I am incredibly honored to have you here and talk to you. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to get right into it. Uh, this, uh, your journey, swimming through these amazingly um, dangerous waters is, it sounds easy. It sounds, it looks, uh, it looks like it can be done by just anybody, but I truly understand that to swim in these rivers that are polluted, that have dangerous uh, f uh, fishes in them, and to just be going and being the daredevil that you are, I just want to understand how does your mindset work when your body tells you to stop, but you keep going. You're, you're, the people around you tell you to stop, this is dangerous, you're gonna die, but you still keep going. Can you explain to me how your mind works in those spots when you're asked to be held back? Uh, thank you very much. I've been professional for 43 years now. I swam all over the planet, over 150 different countries. Every ocean, lots of rivers, lots of lakes, very, very salty waters too. So I was reading a lo lots of stories about Amazon rainforest, fire every day. Amazon is getting smaller and smaller. Cattle ranching, important, big families. People were dying over there. I decided to swim the Amazon. So to save this precious part of the world, what we breathe today, oxygen we need, 220,000 different plants we can find over there. Place for scientists where it's possible to find all the cures for many dangerous diseases today. 
So I flew over there. I was told every day, nobody swim in this river. This is, this is the most dangerous river on the planet. Why? I was trying to understand the river, animals, parasites, tropical diseases, indigenous tribes, pirates, everything was against me. But in my heart, it was a change impossible. I spent a couple of days in the middle of the jungle with indigenous tribes. We were drinking uh, masata, special fluid. It's a little alcohol, not so strong, maybe 15, 60%. And people can get drunk immediately. Yeah. And the boss of these tribes said to me, you're the man, you can do this. You're going to reach Atlantic. They don't know where is the estuary, but they know it's very far. Months, not weeks, months away. First news, good news for me. And then at the, be at the beginning was tough for me. One day, I'm going to survive one day. Yes, was perfect. And the last day was even more perfect. So Easter day, Easter Monday, half a million people waiting on me. Amazon was over. That was worldwide, st worldwide story. And mentally today, I'm even stronger. That's the reason why I'm trying to do the world swim. But before the world swim, I would like to finish 50K for 50 university here in Dubai, I would say best city on the planet, where it's very clean. Dubai is taking care about the city, water, where, where I don't see so much plastic here. Plastic pollution today is a big problem. And we have lots of come, come, because my slogan is swimming for peace, friendship, clean waters, and environment. So I'm at the right place at the right time, at the Expo 2020. And I hope that we're going to make together the word swim, like scientific research swimming expedition, who's going to change the world to start thinking about ecology, not about making money, where to put plastic in the right place, where to put pesticides, chemicals in the right place. We have to start one day. We're on the way down. We are not on the way up. Population is getting higher. When is population higher and higher? We have more plastic, more pesticides, more chemicals everywhere. We have only one world. My, the, my next swim is World Swim to see over 130 countries talking to the politics, scientists, being with kids in the kindergarten, primary schools, uni high schools, universities. There's going to be lots of scientists with me. We need partners now. Hope we're going to find more and more pretty soon. And we're going to, we're going to organize something what this world never seen till now. Like, uh, we're talking about 500 days, 500 days across soon. 130 countries, 130 countries, different countries with yeah. the objective of raising awareness right. about protecting marine life, reducing pla uh, single use plastics and destroying mm -hmm. the planet. And you're going to do this by swimming? By swimming. swimming. On, I'm on. going to swim lots of attractions like Panama Canal, swim with crocodiles inside. It's not so simple. Orinoco River, Amazon again. We're going to organize a uh, piranha show. You're going to do it again? Again with piranhas, big show, piranha show. Then we're going to cross Atlantic, Atlantic, then Corin Charon in Greece, Dardanelle, Bospor, English Channel, Gibraltar, Berry Reef. Today we're talking a lot about Berry Reef. This Berry Reef is big trouble too. Can you explain the problem with the barrier reefs? Berry Reef, uh, pesticides, pesticides and plastic is going to destroy Berry Reef. It's more than 2,000 kilometers wide. Uh, we don't have so, so good news today. What to do? Scientists talking a lot about today. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I'm promoter for everything. Deep is huge. I'm a swimmer. I have lots of divers, cameras, all over, you know, family, everything was going on. 
we have followers, three, four, five, half a billion people uh, 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 with me today. And I'm like good reading book, good news. And uh, that's the reason why I would like to start as soon as, as possible. 500 days? Yeah, 500 days. This is just action. Action is 500 days. Okay. But before action, we're going to start doing promotion, yeah. internet in 20 languages. This is like on the boat, 170 meters, boats like a reality show. Mm. Uh, you're under, under camera nonstop because we are news 24 hours, 24 seven news. Must be, everything must be open, oh, yeah. everything must be clear yeah. what we are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are news for the whole world. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on at Pacific, Atlantic, uh, Indian Ocean, even here, Persian Bay, Red Sea, Adriatic, Mediterranean, every ocean, every ocean, we're going to check every fish, every plant inside. Yeah. Well, it's going to be uh, lots of news. I know very well that today we have lots of scientists, but people don't follow this so much. Yeah. We hear, we forget. Yeah. People's going to follow me. Yeah. They trust me. Yeah. What if I say India or, Gang or China or this country, ocean, river, lakes, this is very, very high pollution. Why? What's the reason? What's the reason? We have to know. What's the problem? That's the reason why, I'm, why my team is so huge. We're going to make connection with every country. Top presidents, ministers, politics, uh, businessmen, uh, scientists. That's going to be... By the end, a couple of thousand people with us, scientists, just physicians, like my Amazon swim. We're, we're making conferences with uh, for, uh, Sydney, Tokyo, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, New York, Los Angeles, London, Paris. In the middle of the Amazon, it's hard to organize press conference because one uh, torrential rain can stop connection. Here on this boat, it's easy to make this to organize everything we have inside Fiat, it's casino, it's, uh, life is luxury, life is great inside. Yeah, for me, sometimes... You're going to be in the water, though. Yeah, I'm going to be in the water during the whole day. Yeah, yeah. Depends on the conditions. Sometimes yeah. I can make 10, 12, 14 hours swim. Another day, maybe it's going to be only one hour. Yeah. Because swimming 10, 15 meters away is hard. Yeah. There are waves. Yeah. And... I'm trying to I'm trying to grasp this. First, you said you might be swimming for 12 hours, 14 hours. Yeah. I I believe you because we've seen it before. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to soak it in that I was so my experience swimming is I used to swim back in my school and I oh. represented my school and I was very happy. And uh, for the trials for the school, they made us swim 400 meters nonstop oh. in the swimming pool back to back. By the that end was. of the 400 meters. My lungs almost exploded. Oh, really? Yeah. You were tired. Yeah. And, but that was for speed, maybe. But still. Depends how fast to swim. Because I'm promoter for very, very healthy sport. Yeah. Swim, you can swim at the beginning to the end of your life. Swimming is best recreation. Like walking, walking, nording, walking. Swimming is number one. People swim more, much more than before. And I would like to see even more people more people. We have Olympic Games every four years, world champion every four years. But I would like to see people do right swim, not just swimming, jumping like that. Uh, in Europe, uh, when before you open uh, primary school, you have to be already a good swimmer in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. People start uh, doing lessons in in kindergarten already. What is good? Yeah. Make me good. make me happy. This because uh, uh, in the clean water, not dirty water. Yeah. Even swimming, we have lots of swimming pools all over the planet, but water is not so clean, even though it's a swimming pool. Yeah. Here in Dubai, I, wherever I go, I'm meeting smart people. Yeah. We're going to do this new project here, new hydropower, new lake, uh, water is coming new. Everything is clean, no plastic, no pesticides. In Slovenia, government, Austria. Germany, if you put pesticides, you're going to go in prison. There has to be punishment for something like that. It's getting better and better already here, European Union, a little here, uh, Emirates, uh, but the rest of the world, no, not yet. Maybe Australia, 
50-50. It has some parts where it looks like pretty New Zealand, some Pacific Islands. The problem is ocean today. It sees already too many plastics everywhere, too many pesticides. Can you imagine how many pounds of pesticides, dirty water we put from the Nile, Ganga, Yangtze, definitely. Amazon, not so much, Orinoco. It's uh, pretty clean, chemically it's not so dirty, but still lots of plastics. Coming. What can we do at an individual level to help the situation? I understand one of the things is to get the corporations on board, change the laws with the factories and how they release pesticides. But what about me? No, you, if you go in the grocery, people buying, people drinking water a lot today. Yeah. Everywhere. You go in the grocery, you buy bags of plastics, yeah. plastic water. Yeah. So that's the biggest problem. If you drink, the bottle is open, it's empty. Yeah. What to do with this bottle now? Some people watching around, throw yeah. like that. Yeah. This is the first step. Where to put this bottle? But well, we have to stop producing plastic. It's not possible to stop everything. We need plastic, sure. But we need special plastic, special bottles for drink. People drink water from the bottles today. We need special bottles. Water, clean water in the future is going to be big prestige. Well, if you, even though you buy in the, in the grocery uh, bottle in plastic, inside is already plastic. We drink plastic water. Yeah, we have plastic inside already. Yeah, and that's the reason why plastic causes lots of diseases. We are not so healthy. Everyone is, everyone is a little sick today. Every hospital is full. Plastic causes lots of cancers, all kinds of diseases. We have more and more cancer today. There's no answer why. I know why the food is problem, especially water, what we drink, because we drink these pesticides every day. The right bottle and the right water is not going to cause any more diseases we have today. Can you tell me the importance of this project from Slovenia and your glass bottle with you? Uh, for example, when I was young, for example, 60 years ago, every creek, every pond was clean, beautiful, good quality of the water, no plastic water. We were drinking in the grocery. It was possible to buy only glass like that. This, this quality. And then suddenly, plastic area, more and more plastic. We started drinking, like what I say, plastic water. Yeah. And people didn't talk. It's comfortable to buy one bag plastic, open your drink, and lots of people put middle of the forest, this animal is in the water lakes, more and more garbage is what, what we have today. In every ocean, we have millions and millions of tons of plastic. In, Fishes. If we're talking about this plastic bottle, okay, this is Slovenia, for example. Now it's from Slovenia. This I would like to see something like that all over the world. Plastics, what we drink today, must be gone soon if we would like to stop doing pollution in the ocean. Every dolphins, lots of dolphins die today. When you open stomach, in the stomach you can see 50, 60 kilograms of plastics. Completely full of plastic all the way up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely no doubt that this bird died Stumped as a result of, of that plastic. That is literally a gut full of plastic. It's quite alarming, isn't it? Oh, that's awful range of plastic types and colors. We've got everything from the blues and the reds. Your to the stomach's just filled with it. Big pieces too. Big like sharp heavy. pieces. Oh wow, look at the size of that big black piece. That is an enormous piece of plastic. Unbelievable. Look at the size of that. Whales are dying too. Why? Hundreds of kilograms of plastics is inside. Who's doing this? You, me, everyone around us. 
Animals don't eat this, don't eat glass, but they eat plastic because plastic is everywhere. And plastic causes lots of diseases. What we drink today from that glass is not going to cause any disease. If there is one message that you want to give the generations to come about the planet, protecting the environment, and drinking clean water, what would that message be? Yeah, because my slogan, swimming for peace. We need peace today, everywhere you go. Friendship, we need friendship. We have to be friendly wherever you go. Clean waters, very important message. We have to start doing this, or we have to teach people. We have to start talking in the kindergarten, primary school, Kids must talk with the father. Father, why did you put this bottle? Pick up and put in the, the right place. And environment. Environment for the future is very important now because we are on the way down. We are not on the way up. Not yet. Yeah, we have less and less ice. What is getting higher, higher. It's much warmer. We have huge tornadoes, hurricanes. Years ago, it was 250 kilometers per hour. Today, we have speed over 340 kilometers per hour. Strong wind, all kinds of destroying. Who caused this? You and me. Lots of people from all. Something is today wrong with this planet. This planet is alive. This is our nature. This planet is our mother. And we have to respect our mother. And we don't respect, not yet. Mother, my, our mother is a little angry now. That's the reason why so many hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, all kinds of things, not so good. And the future is gonna be even more. So I have a question. I always wanted to swim and uh, take it up. And you know, the thing is I'm from a place called Kerala mm -hmm. in India, which is known for beautiful lakes and rivers and I'll always want to jump into the water, but my father always said, David, you are allowed to do anything in this life, but you uh, cannot swim in the river yeah. because he has had friends who have passed away because of the whirlpool. whirlpool. And he said, David, if you get sucked into the whirlpool, yes. there is no way to escape. Yeah, you so have can to, you explain how you, you have, go through Amazon without? Uh -huh, you have to know how to swim. Usually people are afraid. Yeah. Swimming is something. Something happened, <laughs> oh, they start crying, calling. No, forget it, forget it. Stay calm. If you go a little down, let the water to take a little away. Everything's gonna be fair, perfect. And if you eat water, like yeah. eating water, you drink water, water comes you... in the lungs, yeah. that's a big problem immediately. What don't, do you do? Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. It's stay easy, stay calm. And by then it's gonna be, no, like, I'm a good teacher for something like this. Yeah. Water is part of my life. Uh, it's my friend. I can swim dirty waters. I can swim huge whirlpools. It is like swimming the young to class five, even plus. It, this is, you have to be very well organized if you don't try to swim this because yeah. it, it's too dangerous. You know, when so, I, when something, I was watching your videos yeah. online and you took your shirt off. And you have piranha marks on your back. Oh yeah, lots of scars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain this to me? Okay, scars. I can show you a little. It's, just, it's very simple to see this. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh my God! Can you just change to the camera and show? The, look oh. at that. Yeah, I was bitten by piranhas almost every day. I feel my back like a fire. Piranha is small like maybe 15 centimeters or 50, 60 centimeters. They have huge power and lots of parasites here. There's something green here inside. On the Amazon was terrible moment, attacked by piranhas. In your back, you feel fire, they eat so fast. They opened my back and I called fire, my back, piranhas. It is still the longest swim in the history. He had a lot of issues. The Mississippi River, he dropped 55 pounds in two months. He was just losing so much weight. So we even worried that like, he must be getting sick or something. You know, I swam one of the most polluted rivers on the planet. 
body pollution, everything. I was touching by lightning. Was unconscious one minute. Pushed me out of the water. I was flying like a plane. We literally thought he was a dead man. This guy's called Martin died. I stop for a couple of minutes and then go, Martin. <laughs> like nothing happened, you know, we're like, I guess he's alive. <laughs> he's fearless, he's not afraid of death. He's one of the people, I'm either gonna do it or die trying. It's, uh, it's not, with swimming with piranhas, you need buckets of blood forbidden. In this second, somebody must put in the water. To, you have to redirect piranhas. Swimming with piranhas is nice. You can swim between them. They're not gonna attack you. But just one drop of blood or meat or some special smell, it's like a fire inside. I got crazy. Uh, try, if you go to Amazon, South America, like Orinoco River, Amazon, like Iguaza Falls, it's very, very famous place. Pick up a little meat or blood, and when you're in the boat, mm -hmm. put in the water, you will see. You have falls two, three meters high in one second, in one second, like big piranhas. Yeah, piranha show. Okay, I'm gonna show you piranha show. In the middle of the water, when it's water very calm, like a lake. So swimming. With what did you do after getting bit? Because if I, if I get a cramp while swimming, cramp is not I go home and I. <laughs> cramp, cramp for me is even worse than swimming with piranhas. Cramp is hard. You have to know how to help yourself if you, if you do this. If what do you do? Like, what do you do? Touch you here. Pull, the, pull it back? Pull it back, yeah. Pull it back. Okay. So, the big. You're doing this in the water? In the water, yeah. In the water. In, in five seconds, you're done. It's okay. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for coming here and giving us this important message about preserving nature. And I believe you're at the right place to give the right message. And my heart will be with you during the world swim. I want to give you and your team all the very best from my side. I want to thank you from the Association of Rotary Clubs of the UAE. We want to give you a big, big thank you for protecting our environment and looking forward to meeting you again and connecting with you soon. God bless you. God bless you too. And thank you very much. Thank you so much.